What's up, my lovely people, and welcome to another episode of Wait What, the official Coming Out for Love Season 1 uh, react show. This is episode 15. Y'all, we are getting to the end of it. Literally 16 episodes, one more to go after this one, of course. And a little something I want to know today is, as of filming, Mexican Independence Day. Que viva Mexico, cabrones. What's up? I'm wearing my Mexican uh, shirt. Hey. Um, and the reason why this is extra special is because on the day of filming, uh, I believe our first day, the first day I ever met Amber was Mexican Independence Day. So just saying, it's been a few years and, you know, it's a little poetic. I feel like to think so. We are in episode 15 and I'm ready to go because it's a special occasion. I'm going to be drinking a little. So, salud. Salud, mi gente. Mm. That reminds me, if you have not already, please subscribe, follow, and like all of Mi Gente Show. That is a podcast, my podcast, um, with my co-star, Luis Martinez. Uh, and we talk about all things Latino. We react to news and culture every week. So join us. And without further ado, we are on episode 15 now. I'm not going to talk about who is here still because I'm not allowed to comment on eliminations and stuff so we shall just react and uh we'll see how this goes but y'all i'm a little nervous i don't know where this is gonna end and we're getting so close to the wire coming up for love season one ah Ooh. Starting hard with the fashion. Hey, how's it going? Hello, hello. Oh, you're busy. And this is perfect because I have a guest that knows a little something about style. Jessica, so please meet my good. friend, Nick okay. Casey, a trans, non-binary, gender-free designer. Thank you so much, Jess. Thank you. So nice to meet you. My name is Nick Casey, and I'm the founder of Nick Casey Footwear, the first gender-free footwear and accessories company. I'm also the creator and executive producer of Equality Fashion Week, the first LGBTQ-focused fashion week in LA. And yes. I'm so excited to be here today. We Have fun. Love it. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. So, Sterling, yes. are you excited? I'm excited. I'm so nervous. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> totally. you've come a long way. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, right? I have. <laughs> you've gone through a lot of outfits. Yes, I love really that. do. I have a little bit of OCD, so I try to over prepare. I'm happy you're here. That's all I'm going to say. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm here to help you bring your A game to your last date. Well, I have someone oh that's going to give even better advice because she's a femme. I just want to say real quick. Are any of us surprised that it is Sterling and her final date? Mm, again, I'm not supposed to comment on who's still here and who's not, but but if we were if I was a betting man, Sterling would have been the top top two, top two for sure. Okay. So I think you're gonna love this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Hi, <Gigi>. oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god. So gorgeous of you. I miss you. I miss you too. Mm, perfect timing. Yeah. Timing. <laughs> talk about so yeah, that's, this is I where I have a little her. like sexy oh. date I'm hearing about. There might be some one. No one better to comment on style than Chieko. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know this. Style. But oh. I do, this, like, I've kind of forgot I had this, and I do like this That's one a sexy, lot. That's sexy, yeah. It seems, like, very basic, but when you put it on, it's got, like, the asymmetry, and the, the mm. waist kind of pops out in this sheer. on the side, and, like, a certain, it's sheer. I also have this black situation. You never can go wrong with black. Right. Right. I normally do color. Yeah. Yes, this is true. So I don't know if that's, like, a good departure, because I'm, like, right. keeping motherfucker on their toes. Yeah. <laughs> or if I should just stick to the script, because it got me here. Mm. This is pants. This is a one piece. Mm -hmm. Like it's between these two. Can we least. get a show? Like, oh. can you model it for us? Oh my god! Yeah, okay. don't okay. Music. <laughs> it's always been really hard for me to find shoes because I've always wanted to have like men's shoes. I do enjoy more of a masculine look, 
and so I definitely go to the men's section, but being a woman, the shoe sizes don't fit correctly. It's so hard, I can go into 10 stores and still not find anything, it's very frustrating. Okay, let's see. Ooh, very nice. This is my first look, of course, with the heel. Yeah. I'll go on the tippy yeah. toes. Okay, okay, okay. I love it. I think it goes tall. great with your hair. All the colors there are in okay. there. It's great You're going to wear it with the hat? I don't think so. I think yeah. I'm just, my hair's not done right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I'm going to take the hair the little I know, maybe I could, yeah. actually. I love actually, the hat, yeah. too, so. But I think for the for the date. No, hat. Really Got it. That's what yeah. I was going to yeah. say, too. It's kind of edgy, but I'm <laughs> interested to see what the blue one looks like. Hello, I'm Nick Casey, and uh, welcome to my Kickstarter campaign. This is a project that is very dear and near to my heart because my whole life I've had trouble finding shoes that I love to wear that fit me. So, and I think that's why with the blue one, because of the fabric, it's yeah. gonna look, it's gonna elevate her a little bit more. True, yeah. So, but is she gonna be like going too far though? No. no, I mean, I'm always the one to be like, dress up, overdress for the uh, occasion okay. versus you show up and like, you know, you look too casual. I like it in- Always better to overdress than to underdress. That is correct. I love how Nick Casey is listening to Chieko here because like, she knows what she's talking about. I'm just saying. She was definitely the most stylish, voted the most stylish out of the cast, I would say. Concept, but I think because of the fabric, it seems mm. more casual right. versus more, hey, we're doing a wine right. tasting. Love is love. So tell me what you think. Who do you think Amber's gonna pick? I'm confused about the editing. Is the love is love a wine? Is that what it is? It probably is. I don't know. I want to drink it. I wonder what it tastes like. I feel like there's a bunch of rainbows and unicorns. Complications with Sterling's history, maybe mm -hmm. that I feel like Erica might pull through. Really? Ooh. I do. Because that's also hard because if you have a best friend, you also don't want to ruin that right. as much as as much as all the women love him, people <clears throat> like to do. But I think it's so awesome, like to Listen, listen, I'm gonna chime in real quick just because in a moment of honesty, I'm going through something very similar where I have a choice to make. Do I date a friend or do I not? I don't know, but my heart is telling me as great as that could be. Possibly, I don't wanna ruin the friendship. It's hard, it's very difficult. So I think, I think Chi Chi is onto something right there. I think that, oh no, because this whole series I've been saying, it's Sterling, it's Sterling, 100% Sterling. But now I'm like, maybe it's Erica. Maybe they don't want to ruin the friendship. Maybe they're like, this has been great, but what we have is worth not pursuing anything else. I don't know. What I, I don't know. Stay tuned and find out, I guess. Shit. Fall in love with your best friend. Huh. Like, that's the story that I want to see. That's know? the story that I would like to see, yeah. but I still feel like Erica might win. All right. We'll see. We'll see who's right. <laughs> Is that the story we want to see? Is it? And I'm so sorry I keep pausing it, but listen, like Lizzie McGuire, you know, like that's so Raven. You can tell what generation I'm from. <laughs> based on how I'm, how I'm telling you about these shows. But here's the thing. We've seen the trope, right? Kim Possible. We've seen it with the best friend where they always get together. Is that the trope that we want to see? Is it? Is that who we want Amber with? Partially, yes. And partially is like, I don't know. We've seen it done so many times. I don't know that I want to see it again necessarily. Oh, oh, they got me. I'm intrigued. You want to take bets? Yeah, let's okay. do it. I want to <laughs> <Five> bet. <dollars. laughs> so when I had the opportunity to try to make my dreams come true and do this, I decided that if you can't beat them, join them. And so that's what I did. And I went to Portugal and I found a factory and I designed shoes that I've always wanted to wear. Everyone that's tried on the shoes so far, the first thing they say is just like, oh my God, they're so comfortable. Are you excited? I'm excited. 
Gorgeous. Yeah, okay, here I am. This is one, yeah, for sure. Hands down. Hands down, yeah. Oh my god. That was gorgeous. Yeah. Spencer Bryce got a little something, not too much. Right. It's very easy. It's perfect for the date. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. We don't have a lot of time left. What are you gonna do with this to win over Amber? I I guess tonight I just want to make a deeper connection. I wanna be more vulnerable. I wanna be open. I just wanna have heart to heart conversation, ask her maybe some more difficult, personal, intimate questions, um, just to see if that romantic connection is there. Are sure. we finally gonna see a little kiss? Um, <laughs> you missed a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, hope, honestly, I oh. hope so. I hope it's more than a little kiss. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that would be amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, well, good luck. We wish you the best. You. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. And have a great time. Nick's shoes actually fit really well. They're super uber comfortable. Very well made. And they're really, really stylish as well. They're all of that. May I come in? You may. I wanted to see <laughs> if I can help you oh, with geez. your next date, what you're gonna wear. Yes, Are you please. excited? I'm so excited. It's quite a journey, huh? It has. Yeah, yeah. all Erica. of what I'm seeing, I love, so. Good, good. Now, I have a surprise for you because I think there's no one that can help you better than another femme. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> let's see. Let's see who we can get. Stop. <laughs> You're gonna get ready, you're just gonna get, hmm. <laughs> Tell us, like, you know, what are you hoping to get out of this last I date? I love that reaction. Just a fun, easy night, like, no pressure. Yeah, that's awesome. That's it's a great attitude. Thank you. That's awesome. a winning attitude. <laughs> yeah. I think this goes to show a lot about Erica, how she's just like, constantly like no pressure just have fun she was definitely super genuine the whole time um it's a very hard attitude to continue and because it's a nerve-wracking situation like you're dating someone on national tv alongside multiple other you know people it's it and so kudos to her kudos that like this whole time she's just like i just want to have fun i just want to have this light attitude and get to know her and yes, that's absolutely what she should be doing, even in the top two. This is the vibes we need, for sure. Ah, God, I love me some Erica. Now tell us about your outfits. Like, was there one that you saved particularly for this last final date? Um, my red dress. My red oh, dress is really like sexy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if I have one that's last so move, it's the red dress. Um, but also this like glittery one, um, we're just trying to have a fun night. So yeah. like, oh, you know, I don't love the glitter one, at least for the wine vibe. Love is love. Okay. Could we what maybe is, see the what is up with this editing? Love is love. I'm, I'm so sorry, production. I love y'all, but what is up with this editing? <laughs> We get it. It's a wine. Lavender and the red one? Yes, but there will be no bra with the lavender one. Mm. This has been an issue before. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I think that every day should be about being the best version of who I am and who I can be. And I hope that my company and Nick Casey Shoes provides that for everybody. What do you think she's learning with? Ooh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like it a lot. Ooh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Have you mm -hmm. worn this jacket before? I'm liking the red. I don't know that I'm liking the jacket just because it's it's very business formal. You know what I mean? Dress, yes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, no, it looks really good. It looks really uh -huh. good. Take it off. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Okay. It's a great outfit. Okay. No. I'm, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting a reaction. I like you. Oh, okay, it's fine. Right. Yeah. I'm just want, I'm trying to hold it back because you yeah. know I don't want to be. No, I think it's really yeah. nice, yeah. but I still want to see the it's other one because I think the other one is not what we've seen from you before. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be really different. Well, you usually like to wear a lot of black. I do. Do you wear a lot of red also? Yeah, red, black. Okay. My colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the lavender, not so much usually. Yeah, not too much. Okay, well, we should definitely see what that looks we like. We should. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you guys want. Thank Let's you. switch it up. Yeah. Let's see. But okay. you look great. Okay. Yeah. Great. Off to the next one. Yes, thank you. I don't think she could go wrong with the red dress. I just want to see the other option. Yeah. No, I hear you. 
But I still. She kind of can't go wrong with any option. Like, she's Erica. She looks good in everything. I'm just saying. Unbiasedly. I think we're going to go with the red. Let's see what she comes up with with yeah, the lavender. I can't wait, yes. If anything, I think I just wish it was like a longer dress, kind of like, you know, Jessica Rabbit. If it just went longer, it'd be cool. Walk your dreams way. <laughs> Close enough. Ooh. Oh, way. Why do Ooh. I like that? I like one? that too. Can it's we do a little turn? Why do I like yeah, this a lot? It's great. What I like with this is that I think it goes very well with your hair color. Mm -hmm. Okay. And but your complexion, yeah. I don't know. But you can't I, go wrong with red. I really like the red. I like the yeah. detailing on the red dress. I think that says more wine. And if you're trying to draw amber in one last time here, then I think you should do the red. What do you think? I agree. I think the red's okay. the one. So, I mean, tell us more about like what you're hoping to do with the red dress and... Lose the red dress. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> we're trying to lose the red dress. I had a feeling you were going to say that. <laughs> I love yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I just want to have like a fun night. You know, okay. this is the last night, so... Yeah. I'm just looking forward to having like some more time with her yeah. and mm. having a fun night. Thank you so much. Wait, through the, wait, 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 this is the last night? Like, ever? Oh my God, this show is really coming to a close. This is insane. <laughs> You guys, emotional ride. This is crazy. I've seen every episode. Ah, I'm not prepared for it to end. Have a great time. Thank you, guys. All right. Go change. We'll see you soon. Yes. <laughs> she looked great in both of them. Mm. It was hard. I think the red was better, though. Yeah. I still think the red was better. I think just, the, like, again, the enough. detailing on the red yeah. is nice. Can't go wrong. I was like, yeah. lady in the red. <laughs> I think the red screamed. You know what I want? I want Nick Casey to comment on their shoes. <laughs> I want Nick Casey to just be like, no, those shoes are actually trash. So <laughs> I want this to get RuPaul. Like if we're going to do this, do it, do it full force. I want this to be savage. Nick Casey, make a savage. It's more Erica. Definitely. And this is the time to be authentic. Yes. For sure, I agree with you. Mm. Yeah, for once. So nice. For <laughs> 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 once. Yeah. It's, like, it's right? not just about the equal sign that's on the shoe. It's not just about break the binary copy that's on the sole. It's about the fact that I really believe in changing perspectives from the inside out. Yes. Good evening, everyone. All right. I am so sorry. We're going to have to leave it at that because again, I'm only able to show you 15 minutes of the episode, each episode with da -da 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 a bonus clip. So for the bonus clip, this episode, I have chosen, I don't know. Let's just, let's just uh, jump forward to, I don't know, around here. Sure. All right. We're going to get going on this bonus clip. This clip will be around maybe two minutes and that'll be it for episode 15. Oh, I can't believe we've made it this far. Let's see. And. Right now, it's money. It is. In general. Oh, it's I'm just having that in this money. Oh, okay. That's all we got. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why is this awkward? Just come outside with me for two seconds. Can we? Just come outside. For, yeah, just like around the corner for two seconds. I said, I'll tell you something. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm lost. They went somewhere. Where are they? What? Why? Why are you already come up here? I don't because know why. It's scary. Why am I scary? I'm sorry. No, you're not scary. Tell me. You're familiar, scary. I don't know. I feel like I make you uncomfortable. No. Okay. I led with how comfortable you. I am around you. I led with that. Remember? 
Like wild thoughts? What does that mean? You don't like wild thoughts? Like, like the sock. <laughs> No, we're not on the same page with this. I don't know what you mean. You don't know what that means? No. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is this back and forth? I'm confused. I know that they're like drinking, you know, slightly tipsy or whatever, but what's happening? I'm feeling a lot of discomfort and then... Like she said wild thoughts obviously by Beyonce and then she's like I don't know what that means but I, I what is happening you both are making each other so uncomfortable it seems like it's not what okay I'll keep watching I'll keep watching no, I'm confused I just like I feel like I've it's been the last night I don't feel pursued I'm mm. just a strong believer in balance yeah and I feel like I've made all the physical first moves yeah yeah and that doesn't make me feel like making more when I even though I want to it just doesn't feel you know say what do you want to do all the things the world is your oyster what does that mean I'm asking you to take the lead what a, Amber's coming off as a little condescending um it, it, just from this scene just from this perspective I'm not saying she is as a person I'm just saying like what I don't get it like she'd be like mm, uh-huh yeah, what does that mean? Hmm. Girl, I don't know. Just communicate effectively. You've been doing well so far this entire season. What is happening in the scene? What is happening? See, this is why I hate bonus clips. Because we just skip an entire episode and I don't know what the fuck is going on. I said no. But I'm asking. Are you uncomfortable? <laughs> nice, maybe? Mm. Maybe she's uncomfortable. Never have I ever... Made out with my best friend mm -hmm. whoop, whoop. on a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> First time. First time for everything. First right? time for yeah. Ooh. Why are the cameras on? I don't know. What do you? How? What do you want? How do you want to stop this? What? <laughs> huh? How do you want to stop this? Bro? Okay. New thought. I think that. Amber, or they're probably uncomfortable because the camera is there. Because when the fuck, in reality shows, right? When do the, when do these cameras turn off? How do you know that you are not consenting to like, you know, too much privacy just being public? I don't know. Like, are they nervous because the camera is there? Hmm. Something's weird. Something's off. Stop it. Don't do whatever you want to Oh, there's more. See, I'm here. You're the one who's conflicted. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of risk here. Okay. I feel very out by myself, Rich. What is happening? I need some reciprocity, Amber. I'm here. You're not. Oh, my gosh. Just feel shy as me. You're not here. It's Just because I'm shy doesn't mean I'm not here. Um, don't tell me it's up to me because it's not. Because I'm making mad moves and I'm being shut down. What? <laughs> no, what do you want to do? That's how you feel? That's how I feel. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> she went with the damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm sorry. Usually a damn that's crazy means like, oh, good for you. <laughs> like, oh, that's how you feel? Oh, okay. All right. Um, I don't feel like you want me like that. Okay. So she's just not feeling reciprocity. She's not feeling wanted. That's a problem. Yeah. I'm bad. Okay. I feel like the way to fix this is just by... Jumping on her and making out with her. I don't know. She's not making a move. Amber, make a move! Kiss this woman! Yo, she's gonna leave. <gasps> I knew it. Why are you doing nothing about it? Stop her! Tell her no! Don't leave, baby. She did nothing about it.
she did nothing about it. What? What just, what did I just watch? Amber did nothing about it. Huh. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers, guys. All right. Well, that was episode 15 of Coming Out for Love season one. As you can tell, we're down to two contestants. A little uh, rocky road that they're tumbling over there. Uh, but we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. We have one more episode to go and I'm very sad because that's almost the end of this journey, but it's been great. And, um, honestly, episode 15, sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm like still shook. I'm shook by it. What did I just watch? I'm confused. I really thought that I really thought it was a done deal with Sterling. I don't know what is happening, but we have one more episode to figure this out. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, but for now, uh, once again, que viva Mexico. It's Mexican Independence Day. I'm very excited. I'm very happy because when we filmed this again, um, the first time ever, first day, it was Mexican Independence Day. So it was, just, this was all very nostalgic for me. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. I am excited to be your react host and i love y'all and i will see you next week for episode 16 hasta luego